Hi and hi, it's Candace. Welcome, welcome. You are a Candy Cane Creates, and if you're new here, uh, welcome to my channel. I hope you'll hang out with me today. I have a haul from a couple different antique stores for thrifty finds for my craft room and for junk. Hi, appreciate you coming, and I hope you'll hang out with me as well. So we let's get to it. I'm so excited. This was an insane trip. And American Antique is one of those that is new age, I want to say, if you know what that means. Like, you're not going to go in there, you're not going to find stuff to dig through, you're not going to find the dust and the piles, um, which is, I'm calling junking, which of course I still absolutely love to do. But this is, it's more organized, it's more uh, decor oriented, it's more beautiful to look at, uh, and it's more expensive. <laughs> Much more expensive. I've, I about had a heart attack and I was very thankful that my husband walked away when he said this. Of course, he doesn't care what I spend my money on. It's mine. But he would have thought I was a little crazy because I said $75 at this antique store. Yeah, $75. Oh my gosh. But it was one of the first times that I was up and out. It was nice out. My leg didn't hurt. Uh... I was just so excited that day. And he came with me, which is very rare. <laughs> okay, let's get into it. Look at all this. Okay, I... Now, there was two booths. They had junk journal supplies. And I know I'm almost positive one of them is my friend Gloria, whom I found through my YouTube channel. She lives in the area and... Uh, we exchanged texts, and I really need to catch up with you, Gloria, so uh, give me a text. Also, text me and let me know which one of these booths uh, is yours. And did I get the stuff that I, I... I mean, I purposely wanted to support you, so I hope I did. I hope I got the right uh, booth. Uh, but look, look at all the fun stuff. Let's start with this fun thing. I, I've been trying to get... Uh, a typewriter for my room. It's just really hard to find one I like and it's not huge and um, not crazy expensive. Uh, so I bought a toy. <laughs> Let's look at this. Isn't she beautiful? It's just a toy. Uh, I'm not sure if it works. I don't know. I have to do some research. I paid $15 for this and I need my husband to figure out how to get it. This thing to go back. Isn't it isn't cute. It's just aluminum. Um, it was fun. It was a fun find. That's going to look so cute in my craft room. Okay. I have no way to tell, like, who's, uh, booths what. There's no, uh, tags, like, a, a booth, but, uh, look. <laughs> I got a collage bit. But I thought if I cut it in half, it's going to make two amazing belly bands. Uh, I paid $3 for this thing. <laughs> Isn't it cool? Uh, yeah, I really hope that I got a lot from her booth. A uh, vintage paper pack, 20 pages, uh, children's books, museum uh, scorecards, not museum, uh, 20 uh, plus pages, uh, great for journaling, $5. Oh, I like how she used. If this is yours, Gloria, how did you seal that up like that? Well, this is like gummy stuff. So that's really cool. All right, let's see what we got for five dollars. Oh, cool! A saver book. Of stamps. That's cool. Some check stubs. Uh, uh, good night. Book page. Oh, potato. This looks like um, almanac pages. I really hope this is your um, booth, Gloria. I'm doing a safari journal, so this is why I bought this, because i see seen this. Uh, giraffe and black rhinos. Uh, so I'm forcing for one of those. Uh, so it looks like Dick and Jane are some kind of readers. 
coloring page, Yahtzee scorecard. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen a colored one in a long time. A swamp rabbit. Mary. Oh, isn't she sweet? <laughs> oh, fun. This is going to be cool because I just found a new shop on Etsy. Uh, I will leave it down below and I favorited a whole, they have a whole bunch of fairy tale kits. And I thought how cool would it be uh, to make a box set. Like a whole bunch of different journals with different fairy tales in them. Oh, that would be really cool to use that paper. The trolley man, the farmer, and the old woman. It sounds like a joke. <laughs> The trolley man, the farm, and the old woman walk in a bar. The land of contraband cradle time. I don't know. I don't know what's going on there, man. Does he really think this chick's about to jump out the window to him? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, that was fun for five dollars. That made me laugh. Okay, um, awesome. Now I gotta try and keep all this together. It don't get lost in the mix of the craft room changeover. Oh, this one was the same thing. Uh. $5, I'm sure, yeah. Another $5. Okay, I'm also doing a camping, hunting, fishing journal, so that's why I got that. <laughs> and I think this is going to be the exact same kit, just different pages. Ugh, bugs. The 10 o'clock scholar, that'll be cool for my school book. Rainy day, little raindrops, the brook, the, the lazy cat, the monkey, and the circus. Oh, I'm doing the circus journal. We're gonna definitely pull that out. Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. That is awesome. I would love to see the book that came from. Fox Squirrel. Douglas Squirrel. Peter Pan. Plenty, three little bears, some more reader, hey. Yesterday I was grass, today I'm hay. <laughs> In the sun I lie under the sky and dry and dry and dry. Yesterday I was grass, today I'm hay. Oh, nice barn pitcher. And yeah, so that was the same, pretty much the same kit for five bucks, so that was cool. <clears throat> I got these two sizes of envelopes, uh, glassine, uh, 10, this one was 10 for $2, and this one is 10 for $2. Really cool sizes. Uh, <clears throat> I got some paper dolls, guys. 
I got these three for the Maker's Market because I don't really do anything with the paper dolls. Uh, so this should be going up pretty soon because I'm trying to... Uh, you know what, let's not take that carpet out. I'm trying to not put away stuff <laughs> to go through again. Uh, this was $3.99. Look how sweet her face is, Heidi. All kinds of stuff. Oh, that's cute. Oh my gosh. Tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of clothes. Oh, a whole outfit. So be on the lookout. Um, I will definitely get this one on the Maker's Market. And uh, if you're not familiar with the Maker's Market, I will leave a link down below. There's always a link down below. And for new users, uh, there is a $5 uh, coupon code for friends of the channel. And I have some, I have a few things there now uh, but I will be getting a ton more as I go through my craft room uh, up there. And as well as me, there's also a lot of our friends selling their uh, crafty goodies and thrifty finds. And uh, I hope you'll go over there and uh, scope some of that out from all of our friends. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was $3.99. This one is $3.99. Look at her face. She'll be up too. I'm not going to take out all her clothes this time. <laughs> oh, but she has bigger clothes. How stinking fun. And look at her. <laughs> oh gosh, the cat's going crazy upstairs. <laughs> uh, I got some Valentine's. Uh, $1.50 for that one. $1.50 for that one. $1.50. It says, I'm shy of Valentine. Come right in. Don't hesitate, for I know you are my fate. Oh, wow. That's kind of cryptic. <laughs> A Valentine to say hi. The girl is always vase. So those were all $1.50. Oh, I have another one right here. Look at this humongous one. Oh, uh, $2. That's definitely a cover. A cover of a Valentine's journal. For sure. Uh, this was 89 cents. These are not vintage. I just thought, I seen this, this is what I wanted. I wanted this strawberry one because it's kind of a cardstock. I thought this would be really cool as a, in the center of a cover of a strawberry journal. Uh, and this one is Citrus Aurora. A U R A N I. No. A U R A N L I U M. Rillium? I don't know. <laughs> uh, and then that one. 89 cents each. Those are so stinking cute. Uh, another sewing. Uh, okay, that is definitely not what I thought it was. I mean, I obviously knew what it was when I bought it, but I looking just looking at it here, I thought it was um, a needle book. It's not. It's talking about being overweight. What? <laughs> overweight is the number one nutritional nutritional problem in America. 50% of our adult population weigh more than their medically desired weight. Well, I'm pretty sure that's more than 50% now. <laughs> I don't even want to look at the desired weight. <laughs> it's my butt. Uh, three balanced meals and a snack diet plan. Calorie counter. Light brown bread with natural whole grain. I just think this would be so stinking cool to stick in <laughs> uh, in a recipe journal. I paid a dollar for that. Uh, I got a Halloween. Oh, two, two of them for three dollars. Happy Halloween. And this cool one. Happy Halloween. 
I got some check stubs, which I don't know what in the world I was thinking. I have my own. <laughs> I have a ton. Uh, but a dollar for all of these. And I love the color. Uh, a 9H 1950. These are, yep, 1950. Can't really make out ink. Me milk stock something envelope and paper newspaper I can't really yeah so those were a dollar got a book seeing stars a dollar seventy five I thought that would be a really cool journal cover I have a pile. Uh, celestial stuff ready to go. Ham and Indiana. But oh, look at these sheets. Isn't that cool? Each one of these sheets would be just really cool. Slide right into a pocket. Got these coasters for $3. What in the world? I know. <laughs> I know why I picked $3. That look familiar, Carol? Yeah, I paid three dollars because I put one of those in my peacock journal. There's a ton of them too. Okay. <laughs> I have some more. I'm trying to think. Hold on. I think I'm getting the things mixed up. No, no. <clears throat> Some more spools. You guys are gonna die when I get them all together. I just I bought so many here and so many there and one here and four there and two here and now I have a ton. So once they're all collected and curated together, I'm gonna be ecstatic because they're gonna look gorgeous. But I'm be like, really, girl, really? Because <laughs> these were four dollars a piece. Four dollars. Can you believe I paid four dollars? But they're gorgeous. And a whole thing of trim for three dollars. Small, small snippet pack. So Gloria, I don't know. I hope some of these are from you, from your shop, because I sure had fun in there. <laughs> wow. Oh, we got some Rick Rack. Oh, this is a different kind of, look at that. I've not seen that one. Oh, it's like, okay, it's not Rick Rack. It's true. Come on. That's not gonna focus. There we go. It's like velvety. Pink Rick Rack, pink. Some grungy, oh wow, that's cool. Grunge, some purple glittery. Oh, that one's ready made right there. <laughs> Ruffle <laughs> or a belly band. Wow, these are not like these are really good ones. Oh, <gasps> so cute. Yeah, you know how long it was before I actually realized or found out on YouTube that you could weave um, ribbon through there. <laughs> Some strawberry. Star Champions. Another. Oh, whoa. what is that? I don't know what that is, but it's so cute. Kind of like the theme as this one. Oh, I love that. This is another one? This is another one. <gasps> Very cool. Oh, I love these.
Awesome. Awesome. That was fun. All right, where's that basket? <laughs> I could put those in that basket. Okay, that was it from American Antiques. Yeah. I, I still don't understand how in the world that was $75. But I'm not going to dwell because I'll freak out. I'm moving on. Um, this is from Crown Antique Mall, one, one building. So I might not have prices on the lot because they, they, a lot of them take the mall. All right, this, yeah, see, they take the dang prices off. But I just bought this cup, or this plate, I'm sorry. I just bought this little plate uh, for my craft table to put in, like, any kind of loose uh, pins or anything that I'm working with. As well, this is, this as well I bought for my craft table uh, just when I'm working I have a, something to put in or maybe a little a water cup for paint or something I just love the color because it's green <laughs> and that's what my colors are in my craft room my new craft room I finally got that more um I want to say if I own any of these I got them in a swap or a gift from you guys I never found them in the wild so I'm really excited that I did. So they had a whole bunch, but I had to refrain because I think they were, but these were like $3 or something, $4. Uh, homogenized vitamin D milk from Ridgeville Farms, Dairy, Indiana. D Dairy, Inc., not Indiana. <laughs> and I got uh, grade A brown Swiss milk, Crumple and Sons. And then a bunch of these West Side Dairy Pure Raw Milk. I'm excited. Those are going in a jar where you can look at them because I want to. I want to look at them. <clears throat> what else? Got this little booklet. A love letters. Uh, ever learned and Heloise. A uh, dollar. I just thought it was really cute. You could stick little pages in it in, into uh, pockets, and I love the cover. Uh, let's see yeah I don't know how much this one was they took it off knitting and crocheting I've never seen a little book like this look look at all the carbonization care <laughs> every time I say that word I think of care uh it might take it a leak <laughs> uh yeah so that was a cool book I got a bridge tally pack uh fruit under my fruit oh my gosh that's going right into the cover is getting taken off because the cover is going in something else with my fruit. I have a fruit pile. And look, we and they. <laughs> we and they. I just think it's fun. That'll just go into my uh, board game pieces uh, pile. Uh, I just got some covers. They took the things off. You know what? I think it's out of the typewriter. We're going to do that. Yes, we're going to do that. Uh, for the thumbnail. Uh, these are just some cool covers. Look at <laughs> That's it. Just a cover. I think it, I want to say I paid three bucks for this. Or two. Maybe I paid two bucks for this. I can't get that off. Why can't I get that off? No, is that a knot? Jeez. Tear up the book. Oh, if they left their end papers on. That's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Is that the front? Yep, the front and back. Yeah. How cool is that? That was worth it. That's going to be fun to play with. I got a journal. I got a, what you, a ledger. I got a ledger. <laughs> My first one in the wild, I think. Um, and I'm not sure. I think I just bought some of this from uh, Hazel. 
because I've always had to buy them because I've never found them. <laughs> uh, let's see. Miss Carrie Adler. It doesn't say like a year. Um, oh, I can't make it out. Wow, that's cool. September 20th, 1948. Oh, there's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Wow. I was wondering why it was so thick, like right here. How fun. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, finally, finally, finally. And of course the cover, I mean, the cover. <laughs> cool. I forgot to mention guys that this video is in collaboration with the hashtag thrifted treasures. That is hosted by your friend and mine, Dale and Not Too Shabby Chic. And of course, hashtag thrifty Thursday. That's hosted by Sherry at Turquoise Dreaming. I will leave both their information and links down below in the description box. Uh, I hope you will uh, head to both their channels, watch them, subscribe to them, and uh, check out all the other uh, participants in both those hashtags. And now let's get to do with the haul. Okay, I got some more spools here. <laughs> I don't know how much I paid for them because they take the tags off. Those are fun. Okay, I have enough of those. I have a, a vase. I think, I think I'm going to put them in that big green vase that I hauled um, in my vintage craft room decor haul or share uh if you haven't seen that i'll leave it in uh the description box and here if i can figure out the cards um but that was fun that was me showing you guys and sharing a bunch of vintage finds that i found to put in my craft room for organization tools and decor oh my gosh this is perfect timing I'm working on a gallery wall in my craft room. Look! It's like three-dimensional. Can you see that? Is that not the sweetest thing ever? And almost all my pictures have yellow in them. So this is going to be perfect. And I don't know how much I paid for this. But it's so pretty. Okay, that was the first side of that antique mall. Now the second building, uh, you have to pay twice. Uh, because there's just there are just two buildings. Look what I found. Oh, they took the tags off. I think I paid two dollars for this. A little cast iron holder for my little <laughs> my little iron. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, the story with the irons. Okay, so I found one iron at a yard sale one time. One of those heavy, heavy irons. Uh, old irons and I bought it just for as a paperweight like when I'm making my journals I could just set it on there hold my page blah 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 and it turned into like a full-on I need them all <laughs> so every time I find one that's like 10 bucks or under I always buy it and then this one has no use it's just so stinking cute I had to have it so I paid two or three bucks for that well, hold on I'll be able to tell you I won't Well, this says I paid $6. There's no way I paid $6 for that. Ugh. Um, that's not good. But anyway. <laughs> uh, look at this. This is a wood, la wood ladder organizer for $10. But I got it on sale for $7.50. It was on clearance. I mean on sale. But, guess what I'm going to do with this? Can you get can you, can you, can you? I'm gonna stand it up, which you, I won't be able to do on camera. Uh, and I'm gonna put my inks in here. <laughs> I'm gonna go grab one, hold up. And now I know 
that I'm supposed to be storing them upside down. <laughs> uh, thank you, Marnell, for that tip. So I need to get some, uh, I'll sh I'm gonna leave her link to her video where she showed where she put some labels on there with the colors so you can see them. But aren't these cute? If, imagine this is standing straight up and they're all in there. Like that. Oh, I can't wait to show you guys. Uh, I wonder if I can fit two. Oh, I was so excited when I found that. Okay, that is my haul, guys. Yep, that's my haul uh, from the antique stores. I am so excited that you hung out with me. I hope you will uh, join me again. I will share a video here and here uh, where you can go watch some older videos uh, of my hauls and my thrifty finds and get some inspiration for some things that you might want to pick up next time you're at the thrift store uh, to include in your junk journals. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Hugs!